Beijing is reporting some of its highest COVID cases in over a year as the opening ceremony of the 2022 Winter Olympics is just days away. New outbreaks are also being reported among the athletes, which could threaten some events. Maggie Ruley is there for us in Beijing with the latest. This morning, Beijing reporting its biggest spike in COVID cases in 18 months. 71 active cases in the country's capital. It's barely a fraction of the city's 21 million people, but it's enough to trigger an extreme response from China. Cracking down on the strict Olympic bubble. The Olympics Committee reporting 37 people tested positive on arrival yesterday, including 12 athletes or team officials, bringing the total number to 248. Everything with these Olympics all taking place in a strict closed loop. Organizers working to keep the 11,000 visitors separate from the rest of Beijing, including our ABC News crew. This is the first thing we see entering Beijing right when we get off the aircraft. Just dozens of people in hazmat Even the baggage handlers are protected. The second we're off the plane, we're in the bubble. Guys, this is it. Months in the planning. How are we feeling? Nervous. Tired? <laughs> Lots of lines, multiple document checks. Just got another QR code. And more COVID tests. It's a rigorous and efficient system. We're in and out in about an hour. We're on the bus on the way to the hotel now, getting our first glimpse of Beijing out the bus windows. The highway has special lanes for Olympic vehicles. Our hotel guarded 24-7 by guards. Once we're here, you can see they're actually uh, physically boarded up. A few hours after my test, the hotel calls to say it's negative. This means that while we're still in the Olympic bubble, at least I can leave my hotel room and get to see a little bit of the city. Look, there's even the bird's nest. And Maggie really joins me live now from the bubble in Beijing. Uh, Maggie, I understand they were just practicing for the opening ceremonies? Hey, hey, Diane. Yeah, you saw that bubble that we entered. It happened the second we got off the airplane, and it's what we've been seeing all over Beijing. I kind of like to say, yes, we made it here, but really we've made it to the bubble inside Beijing. You can see behind me just the fencing on either side. This is what you see, a physical barrier everywhere inside this closed loop, and it's not something you want to mess with. If you break this bubble, if you get outside the closed loop, you go into a mandatory 21-day quarantine. So, Diane, I have to say, as you know, as perhaps shocking as some of those images are, people are following the rules because the threat of breaking the rules is so extreme. All right, Maggie Ruley in Beijing. Maggie, you stay put exactly where you are in that bubble. We're going to be checking in with you all throughout the games. Maggie, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.